Hey guys, what is going on? This is Lopu and I am back. Um, I was away for a little bit. I um, just arrived back in Australia about five days ago. Um, I've had to settle in, I guess. I had um, I was in Japan, but I had the flu and then I couldn't do any snowboarding. Um, so it was just really depressing. But I'm back and um, I want to show you guys um, how to do something cool, I guess. Um, now, you probably all remember this from uh, the last Noise Field tutorial. But I'm this this tutorial is going to be about magic, and I've done a magic tutorial before, but not really one covering I don't know the whole demon itself. And I'm going to show something pretty cool you can do with it, which um also talks about um a new type of emitter, which is uh, really cool. So yeah, we'll start off. We'll go to magic. Um, I've just made this a uh, kind of quick little animation here. I'll just select these just made this um quick little thing here it's pretty cool it's like um i don't know it's just like noise it's um you can just make some really cool splashes and stuff i don't know if you had like a commercial with fruits or something it'll look really cool but um but yeah um you can see that and now we're gonna have the magic turn it into this this monster logo here which is from uh, another youtuber um really cool he, i don't know i think he does gaming videos or something but i just i like his logo so that's what this is here um i'm just gonna put it on uh I'll put the particle fluid interaction onto inward, and I'll change the particle friction to zero, the bounce to zero, and the roughness to zero. So that basically, when it just hits the inside, there's no friction or anything. The particle can just move around, but um, it's just a lot easier to uh, get it in there. Um, and what we're going to do is, because we like this first, uh, this kind of generic look we have here, I'm going to get in a filter demon, and I'm going to go into here emitters. And I'm going to just choose container. Now, I'll change the color of this to like a, a bright yellow or something. No, that's a, I don't know, that's a green one or something. But anyway, so we have that. So that doesn't have any particles in it at the moment. And um, we're going to have to change the resolution and settings to the same. So, yeah, it's just 2 and 8. There we go. And now we're going to go to the filter. Now, what we're going to do is source emitters. We're going to choose two squares well that's just what I've done and then for the target we're going to choose this container we want to filter um, when uh, true so that's that that's right um, and a condition we're just gonna have it uh, I'll just make it a little bit bigger we're gonna have greater than or equal to oh sorry in range and then we're just gonna have zero to and it's not gonna be speed it's going to be age and we're just going to have minimum value 0 maximum value 5000 which will be plenty because we're going to be using bounded and it's going to be on filter inside so then we just have to position it we're going to go to the uh, last plane which is that yep. and then I'm just going to drag it so that it's on the middle of the monster and I'm going to drag it until it's about here, it's touching a few particles. I make it pretty high, but I'll, I'll put it about here, and then we just have to go to top view. I have to make it wider. All right, so now we have this box here. So every particle in this box is going to go to the container. It's going to, it's going to, the particles aren't going to be orange or pink anymore. They're going to be green. So I'll reset this, and um, I'll demonstrate that the magic isn't actually in effect yet. So I'll reset. I'll select all of these. I'll just save first. And then I'll hit simulate. So um, I'm on sub steps uh, minimum 50 and max 333. So simulations, I don't know. Let's say. And it's on 30 frames per second. So I can see that this is very, very cool. And. This is just like the beginning of an intro. If you animated the um, the these two to swivel around this point and they kind of went around in a circle, you would get this really generic look, I guess. All right, so these first particles, uh, you can see the particles here. They're already going into the container, which is really cool. So you can get some really, really sweet effects with that. But what we're going to do is we're going to link the magic to this container demon. Uh, sorry, to this container emitter which is really, really cool, and um, I think you're going to enjoy this. So this particle over here is going backwards because of noise, but um, I'll just stop the simulation. I'll reset, 
and then magic. I'll delete the magic from global links and I'll put the container daemon in here. Sorry, the container emitter. I'll put the magic onto it plus the object, which is all you need. And then we're just going to go into magic, put the object onto extrude nerves, or whatever object you have. I'm going to use 45 and 1200, which is what or seems to always work for me. They're pretty good values. Um, that's the, uh, I guess that they're the values that I really found work for me. And um, if you do have particles inside there before you um before you start simulating, uh, you have to use a negative value, which um which which can I don't know be a little confusing. But you have if you have particles inside and out, it um you just you really can't simulate. It's it's a really um it's a bloody hassle. But um so this should work now. I'll just save. Um, I'll select these emitters again. I'll hit simulate, and we'll see what happens. I'll just pause it, and um, so the first particles are about to come in. Now you can see that these green particles are affected straight away. They're getting pulled into that. You can see that the magic is um, affecting them. They're being attracted to the edges and sides of the logo and simulation time has gone up a bit but we're getting the general effect that we uh, wanted if I up the resolution on the uh, emitters we might see a little bit more but nah it's looking good here there's quite a few particles and the simulation time is really taking a hit looks pretty good it's really just being sucked to it and it, it it just gives a really I don't know this is like this is I guess commercial standard um, it does all come to come down to meshing and uh, rendering and stuff like that but for what for just this for a um, I don't know I guess a tutorial on YouTube it's uh, it's pretty good and um, about colors as well I mean like if you have an idea about what your uh, project is going to look like you want to um, give the emitters colors in real flow so you can get a pretty good idea of what it's um, what's going to look like and this green looks pretty cool uh, even if you meshed it you could um, have the UV uh, UW mapping and you could um, like project 4d he put out a video on um, on uh, on texturing by the uh, vertex map and um and yeah, it looks really cool. That's about the whole tutorial. Um, that's all I really have to go through in uh, magic and stuff. Um, hope you enjoy. Hope you can uh, use this, and uh, I'll see you guys later. One sec. So I'm leave like if you want, and um yeah, I'll see you guys later. I've had dinner. I was in a bit of a rush. Um, but yeah, cheers. Um, have a nice day.